Hello, people. I'm gonna make a, a video in English now for my English friends um, about investing, uh, about the permanent portfolio. Um, I made uh, one in Dutch also um, because I have a big um, announcement to make um, about my strategy uh, towards a permanent portfolio. I'm, um, I'm preparing myself to uh, dump the 30-year bonds from the permanent portfolio. Um, so um, some people in the Eurozone are following my work and also have started a European permanent portfolio. And in that one you have the, if you did it right, you have the 30-year German bonds, maybe the Dutch ones, but certainly not anything else from the Eurozone. Um, but, um, and that has been the right choice um, since 2009, yeah, since I started saying that this was important, that you have German ones, uh, because uh, what we've seen is that since then, southern bonds, government bonds from Greece, Spain, Italy, have indeed gone, uh, lost some value, some serious value already. Uh, Greek bonds lost a lot of value. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, in contrast, the German ones have gone up, um, except this year where they have lost about 8% now in the first half of the year. But all the other years they have gone up in total around 30% uh, or something since 2009. Um, and that's the correction in included. So, um, but I'm planning to dump them uh, if we get another spike. Um, so currently the interest rate on German bonds, and I'm taking 10 year bonds because it's easy to compare. All of the nations have those. And um, currently that's 2% for German bonds uh, interest. In Spain, Italy, it's around four, Five percent in Greece, it's ten percent uh, interest that you get for ten-year bonds, and in America, it's three percent, and in Japan, it is one percent. So, um, one percent Japan, two percent Germany, three percent the U.S. Uh, the low in uh, actually last year was around one and a half percent for Germany, and now it's two percent. And um, in the U.S., uh, the low has been considerably lower. Um, I, I'm not sure where, but it was even lower as the German ones. It must have been somewhere around 1% uh, in 2008 or maybe last year also. But anyway, those have gone up to 3%. So the, German, uh, the U.S. bonds have lost some serious value since, uh, a lot more than the German ones. Um, so why am I going to kick them out? I'm going to kick them out if we have another spike. So if, if the interest rates uh, go down again in Germany from the current 2% to hopefully 1%, like it is the case in Japan today, then you will have some nice gains again in those German bonds. And, um, but yeah, I think we are at the end of this. Um, it cannot be valued higher. Theoretically, it could, of course, eh? but um, we are already historically at all time highs. Never ever in history have bonds given such a low interest rate and have bonds been valued so high. Eh? So I chose a permanent portfolio for, um, um, one moment, I'm gonna close the window. Yeah, I, I've chosen the permanent portfolio to protect my purchasing power. And the permanent portfolio has done an excellent job in all climates that I have researched. So I think that if that is your goal, you really don't want to kick out those 30 year bonds. And if your goal is to preserve your purchasing power, you can keep them. Because even 
when they are at an all-time high, and even if it would be true that the next 10, 20, 30 years they would go down in value, or maybe uh, a lot or a little, uh, even then they will uh, offer some uh, value, value for you because um, even though you will make losses on them most years, uh, those will be compensated very likely, extremely likely, by the other assets that could be stocks, the, the gold, or the short-term bonds, eh? um, because they will go up in interest rate. Eh? And so when interest rates go up, your long-term bonds will lose value, but your short-term bonds will actually uh, give more interest. So, and they won't lose value. So you will be protected, and then you will have sometimes years where uh, the best performing assets do poorly, and then you will have a real long, uh, probably those 30 year bonds will uh, go up again. So they will also offer stability uh, in your portfolio, even if they are in a long term bear market. So, but for me, is um, I'm changing my desires. I want not just to preserve my purchasing power, I want to increase my purchasing power. Right? And um, it is my personal belief where I have some proof for, but it's not like um, it's up for discussion. Uh, I believe that true in inflation is 5% per year. I believe that to be the case here in the Eurozone, but I also think that's the case in the UK and in the US. And um, so um, the permanent portfolio returns around 6% here in the Eurozone. So you, you, you actually don't make money, yeah, just a little, let's say 1, 2% per year, but that's not going to make you rich. Um, that's in my opinion, just enough to make it worthwhile doing. Of course, you need to, it costs time, a lot of energy to set up a permanent portfolio, eh? so, uh, and um, study, and uh, takes also maintenance, eh? and um, basically those, let's say, one, two percent you make per year after true inflation, uh, it pays you for that. Eh? So that's nice, but I want to increase my purchasing power considerably. I want to become rich, much richer than I am today. Hmm? Call me greedy, but I don't think I am. Um, I think it's beautiful to achieve that. Huh? And um, greed uh, is, will only, only stand in the way to do that. Uh, because then you overinvest and then you are uh, likely going to lose money. But I'm not planning to overinvest. What I'm planning to do is sell what is obviously overvalued, and that will be 30 year bonds if we get another spike. Today they are already his valued historically high. Uh, I, I, historically, the highest they have ever been in hundreds and hundreds of years. And so it's already a good time to sell them, uh, a very good time actually. But I think, and this is pure speculation, that we will get another spike um, because um, if not just Greece, but next in line are uh, Spain, Portugal, Italy, uh, and France, um, I think chances are high that they will be the next to, uh, to default like Greece did. And you will see, uh, I think, more, even more capital fleeing from these countries. And where do they go? Well, they go to German bonds, you know, that's what they do. It might change in the future, but I don't think it's going to change yet. I think you will see the same, more of the same. So I think those German bonds, currently 10-year bonds are 2%. In Japan, they are 1%. I think they will go to 1% again. So, so that will give another gain. It might not happen also. From here, interest rates may go up. We may have seen the bottom. Eh? Uh, and, and maybe next in line uh, is, is when, the big, when the bigger ones go broke, 
like Spain, Italy, or France, maybe the market says, fuck that, I'm, go I'm, I'm gone, I'm out of the Eurozone, and maybe they buy all US bonds, and maybe the German bonds start to go up in interest rate too, and start to go down in value too. That's possible too. So it's pure speculation on my part. So, but I'm thinking chances are, are high that they will go up. But I also think chances are high that it will be the roof. I don't think they will go higher. Because Japan, now 20 years in a row, has gone uh, down in interest rate. And now since 2000, 2002 or something, so that's 10 years now, they are, have been bottoming out around that 1% for 10 year bonds. So it didn't happen in Japan. I don't think it will happen here. So I think uh, we will see the absolute top there. And I think it's the best, I, from a speculative standpoint, it's a really good time to, to, to sell them then. And uh, what will I do? I will keep my permanent portfolio. I just kick those out and I keep 33% of the three other assets. Eh? So that's then gold 33, bo uh, stocks 33, and cash 33. And of course, the cash or short term bonds. And I think those will perform much better then because when interest rates go up, they will finally give some interest. And uh, that might go up a lot. Uh, we will see. Hmm? But uh, I think uh, I'm going to change my permanent portfolio to such composition. I've studied in the past, uh, those are Dutch articles, what would happen with the permanent portfolio if you only have these three assets. So I did some simulations for the USA. And uh, what you see is that actually I did the simulation kicking out the cash. Eh? So I kept the long-term bonds, gold and stocks, where I kicked out the cash and I did th that simulation at the time because I thought like cash, who, who wants 25% cash? That's really way too much. So let's see if I kick them out, what happens. And what happens is that in that simulation that your over overall returns were higher, average returns were higher, but the volatility was higher too. But yeah, you gained around one, two percent extra per year. But yeah, your volatility was up also instead of having three or three years negative or four years since 1972, you had like 10 years negative. So uh, it's, uh, it is considerably more volatile. But you know, I've grown as an investor and I've, re I'm, I've you know, I used to be really, 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 uh, I used to really detest volatility and seeing a loss like, that's just, I had a hard time with that. But these days, you know, I realize that volatility and safety are not the same. Eh? Sure, if you lose money, if you have a negative year, you have a negative year, you just lost money. No question. Eh? But, um, um, yeah, um, if the investment is, um, I has a high chance of going up, um, um, then even then it's still a better investment, even though it may be volatile. Eh? Um, so, 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 so yeah. Um, and I think the same will be true if I kick out the, lo the, the, the long-term uh, bo government bonds. My permanent portfolio will be more volatile, but I do expect it to have a higher return. And I think it will be around 2% per year on average, which is considerable, I think, because the, the real returns, in my opinion, eh, are only 2% for the PP. So if you can add another 2%, that's double. Eh? And... Uh, Actually, that's double the amount of money you make per year. Eh? Um, so, 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 so I think that's certainly worthwhile. Um, and I think it's all about preparation, you know. Um, that's why I make this video and share this with you. I think in speculation, it's uh, a lot about timing. Eh? If you time wrong, your returns are a lot lower. And actually, um, yeah. It's very different. So timing is important in speculation. 
and I'm gonna time when to kick them out. So, and it's just an, I, and we will see if it works out, eh, but I'd like to take you on my right with that as well. I'll let you know when I do that. And, um, uh, if you uh, disagree with my position, I'm open to talk about it. Eh? And I hope I help you preparing for such a move too. I think it's a good, it's a good move. Um, then I'm going to make another video also about Bitcoin. Talk to you later.